Hi, I'm Jen Robertson, and you're watching New You. We'll be launching the second season. It's super exciting. Season two is pretty awesome. And I, you forget, you shoot it, and then it starts airing, and you go, oh, yeah, that episode. This is going to be awesome. It's pretty great. Awesome. What can fans expect? Well, everybody's kind of tucking in, right? When we left off at season one, it seemed like they were going to get out, and then they couldn't. So now it's everybody trying to find their way and find their place in Schitt's Creek. So for my character, obviously there's a continued relationship with Catherine, and there might be some friction <laughs> this year. That's all I'm going to say. Can't say over what, but um, yeah, there's some great stuff coming up. Yeah, and getting jobs, Annie's character and Dan's character, like everybody has to adapt to their environment. <laughs> And I'm part of the environment with my crazy hair. <laughs> fun, fun. Now, did you have a favorite moment or scene from the first season? I did. Uh, my favorite moment from the first season was the Hawaiian luau episode where Catherine and I are on a porch swing, probably drunk, probably a little high, talking about our past lives, and you find out that Catherine's character also came from a small town and kind of left it all behind, but it was a great... And she's one of my comedy idols. So I'm sitting here, you know, in a porch swing with her doing this scene going, I'm like working with one of my comedy idols right now. So it was just a fun, fun scene, fun information to learn about her because she's so incredibly fancy, but that she comes from the same place as my character is very interesting. Very interesting. And you Sarah was telling us the fashion's gonna be pretty exciting this. Can you tell us about the fashion on Catherine and Annie's characters, you know, is always incredible. I will be wearing more Walmart. I will be wearing, we have a store in Canada called Giant Tiger, which is kind of like a cottage store. Like when you go to the cottage, you're like, oh, we forgot a beach ball. You go there and you get pants from there if you're Jocelyn that have zippers on both sides and the zippers kind of cut into your flesh. So that's where I'll be landing fashion wise. Um, there is a bit of something towards the end of the second season that happens for Jocelyn in terms of fashion. So, can't say what, just can say there's a bit of a shift somewhere in there. Whether it sticks or not, I can't say. <laughs> and how is the chemistry between everyone on set? It's a very relaxed, easy set. It's a family, you know, when we go to do stuff like this. We have family dinners and Eugene's always like, let's go get some food and it's lovely. It's not a competitive set. Everybody is in admiration of everyone else. It's really comfortable. It's really lovely. And we laugh, but we have to make a show. So we have to pull it together, <laughs> finish the scene, and then laugh. Yeah, yeah. All right, lastly, for anyone who's looking to binge watch and dive into this show, what do you think is the big draw and what would you kind of compare it to? In terms of shows, I mean, people have said it's a reverse Green Acres, a modern day remake of that. Um, you should watch because, you know, in, I think it finds an audience because it appeals to a lot of different age groups. The younger people really like David and Alexis, and the older people like the older characters like us. I don't know, it's a family viewing show that connects with all different generations. I think that's part of the, and it has heart. At the end of the day, all these crazy people love each other. 